Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So this is episode four of Volleyball Hacks with Jacoby. So today we're gonna be talking about setting hacks. Setting is my favorite skill. It was my favorite skill to train. It's the first one I learned and the first one I mastered, even though I don't think you truly ever master something in volleyball because you keep working on it as you move up, but you know what I mean? Okay, hack number one is to open your hands. If you're setting a ball like this, you already like kind of, you're not doing good, you know? So if your hands are open and ready to receive the ball, that will give you a lot better chance of not doubling the ball. Because once again, if your hands are closer, it's just harder to get control of the ball. It's awkward, it's uncomfortable. So nice and out, relaxed and wide. Hack number two is you have soft hands. So you can't set a ball like this. Like I see a lot of people who are beginners or the people that I'm coaching, I see that they have like monster hands as I like to call it like do not be like this like you don't want to be like Frankenstein you know what I mean like you want to be like a ballerina like super soft hands but firm you know what I'm saying like you don't want to be like stiff there's a difference between stiff and firm firm wrist but your fingers can be soft because you have to move the ball somewhere but if you're just like this the ball would just come off of you instead of you controlling like where, it, where it's going Okay, hack number three is the Coke bottle method. This is how I got taught to set. So basically, imagine like you're literally drinking like a big three liter of Coke. You're literally, your hands are literally going to be like this, right? Because you're holding the three liter bottle. That's exactly how you want your hands when you're setting the bowl. Like that is the best analogy I've ever been given. It was like by my coach when I was like 11. I was like, wow. And it just really stuck with me because it's true. Like, that's exactly how you want to set a ball. Next hack is to have high hands. So as a setter, you're going to be waiting on the pass to come to you in most circumstances, right? So when you're waiting on that pass, you don't want your hands down or like just looking like you see the pass is coming. Oop, hands up nice and high. You don't want them here or here or here. Like keep them high and above your forehead. Like don't drop your hands. If you drop your hands, like the set, like the ball won't, it will not come out right. Okay. Just trust me on that. If you take a ball low, like good luck. Okay. Like you want to take it as high as you can and set up and that way you'll give your hitter like a settable ball because if you didn't say you took the ball pretty low you set it out see how the trajectory of the ball is going it's going like straight out chest level like no one's gonna be able to hit that so you want to keep it nice and high in relation to that when you're waiting on the ball you want your stance to be relaxed but athletic like bend your knees but also have relaxed hands because once again you don't know where the ball is going and you don't want to run with your hands like already in your setting position right because sometimes like passers will not get the ball to you like directly like they'll pass it a little bit in front of you a little bit behind you a little bit to your left or whatever so you have to run and then put your hands up and that's how you're gonna get a clean set next tip is to have relaxed elbows like you don't want to be like completely like this like bent elbows you want to be like i don't know halfway to that but also be like relaxed enough to once again move with the ball like being fluid is like a big part of being a setter next hack is to have one smooth motion while you're setting to avoid doubling the ball so basically when you're going up the set you don't want to have like a big motion that's like super robotic like you don't want to step to the ball and then turn your shoulders and then set like it's all like one fluid motion when you're doing something so notice how i just did like one example where i was super like robotic and setting like this and one i was just like kind of flowing with it and then setting like you want to be flowy like the best setters are flowy like they they just look like they can literally care less <laughs> sometimes that's usually what they look like but like they just look like it's so effortless and it's like whoa like they're natural with it like it just flows out of their hand now that's what makes a good setter next is to not break your wrist when you're setting so i'm setting the ball you don't want to go like this because once again it's all about trajectory okay so if you're setting the ball and you break your wrist guess what the ball is just gonna go like mm, down right because you're flicking your wrist down if you're keeping them solid and you're going up and you keep your wrist up that's where the ball will go the ball always follows your hand always next hack is to get your feet under the ball before you start setting so you don't want to reach out and then set the ball you want to get your feet under the ball and then set well first of all first of all that just gives you more options to set so if you get your feet under the ball and you're not leaning one way or the other that means that you can set your outside your middle your right side or your back row attack but if you're leaning forward already your option is pretty much only the outside because that's where you're facing already and that's the only option you have because you're already leaning over and that's it, right? But if you're balanced, standing straight and tall, you can do boop, back set, middle, outside, <laughs> pipe, you know, anything. When you're setting, you typically want to have like your right foot forward. That's just usually what's most comfortable for people. But honestly, just be in a comfortable stance that like be in a comfortable stance for you. Whatever makes you comfortable, just do that. But also that to say, don't be like awkward. Like don't have your legs like literally like this. Like be more like this, you know, just balance. Balance is everything. So don't be like this. That's not balance, is it? 
mm -mm, no no next is to engage your core and push with your legs when you're setting like once again don't be like cr like literally bent crouched down like this like your legs are like literally like bent 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 that's not what we're looking for but you want to engage your core and engage your legs so you can push all that strength through the ball because setting really all that strength doesn't really come from your arms it comes from like your wrist strength well, first of all and then your core your legs and obviously some arm strength but really how to get a good push on the ball is from your legs and your core like do you ever wonder how people can set across the court without doubling and it's completely clean that's because they're using their legs and their core I kind of touched on this one already, but next is basically just to stay neutral. This is like a really good key and like a, a really, really good hack when it comes to setting a volleyball and, and deceiving the opposite players. So basically, if you are literally leaning forward, people know where you're going to set. Like, it's not a hard thing to guess. Therefore, if they know where you're going to set, it's easy to block that hitter because you're not going to set anywhere else. So why would I go anywhere else, you know? But if you're here, you can literally flick your wrist back forward in the middle like anything you can do anything when you're neutral so being neutral is extremely important okay guys that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much and i'll see y'all in my next video bye